This is Org J. All right, Super Shocky and RJ opening up with uh, three six. Three. So in this game, they start off like they have the same pieces. Yeah. Yes. They start with the same pieces. So they could mirror each other if they wanted to. They could, to. but they could. I'm it's, not saying it's a good idea, but it's not really feasible anyway, considering the high speed of the game. Yeah. But it is a lot fairer than you Poyo know. Poyo just being like, uh, you know what? What if you just didn't get this piece? You know, it's or what if you just got terrible pieces? Like it's even crazier because when you play Puyo, both players get the same pieces. Yeah. Wait. Puyo? Really? Puyo yeah. Puyo. Puyo Puyo. You know, yeah. the squishy yeah, blob yeah, yeah, game. Yeah. That's they get, very Yeah, funny. they get the same pieces. But Tetris, no. Just that's, different pieces for everyone. I feel like that sounds like an oversight. No, right, it's on purpose. It's on purpose. I see. It's because most Tetris games are like that. Right. Wow, RJ burns a whole zone, gets a perfectress, but... Nice 19. Shocky does not care. He's ready to just clear, clear, clear. Yeah, he's just uh, <coughs> speeding through. It's kind of his, a... Yeah, that's kind of his plan. It's just like to zoom. Scare other people's zones out and then beat it. Yeah, it's kind of like Salted, but... But Salted's TC. bad. Except he actually knows how to play TC. <laughs> All right, big zone coming up. 13. Yeah, like, I don't know if I told you, but, like, his best TEC run was at a, uh, a land where, God. like, the commentator right next to him, and they're saying, oh, Salted Bread should zone now, and he's like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zone now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he knew he should zone. All right, time for RJ zone. He's got a clean stack coming up, and we're in phase three. This is yeah, good timing. This is very fast, too, which is good. This you want to clear your zone quickly. This is good for RJ. Huge Yeah, huge a lot of damage. damage. Alright, Shocky with, his with a half zone, but it's... He's not going to have any time. Meter is running out really quickly, yeah. He only managed to clear a few lines. That's nothing. Still has too many lines in his queue. Yeah, he lost in a similar manner to, like, Sayonara, so... RJ timed him very well with that zone. Um... Words hard. Anyway, game three. More 6-3 gameplay. It really is interesting, though, that just because of the mechanics of this game, openers are, like, not optimal at all. And that is interesting to me. Yeah, it's like, you can still surprise your opponent if you're, like, if you, you have can. a speed advantage and, like, pressure them if you... You can, but it's yeah. like there are other factors making it, like, not desirable to open up with openers. Like, it's the fact that your pieces fall slower in this game. Like, in Puyo Puyo Tetris, the drop speed is at level 3. Whereas it's level one here. Oh, so this is level one? Yep, it's level one. Wow. So it takes forever to get a piece down to the bottom. And then also at the beginning of the game, you're sending clean garbage to the opponent. So if you barf 11 lines on them, that's just like three Tetris that they can throw right back at you. Yeah. On top of their opener. Right. That's where like the speed advantage comes in. Because like if you're faster, then you know, you're going to force them to like... RJ got 20. Nice, RJ gets 20. They both got 20s. Yeah, it, like canceled out pretty much like perfectly. But I heard that 21 is the thing. The curve, it's hard to get a 21. Yeah, but it's worth it. You send like way more lines. Oh, you do. The damage of a curve truss is insane, but... I forget the exact numbers, but it's something like 10 more lines for like that extra line. Or yeah, like. you basically win if you... It's. Yeah, you basically win if you get it. RJ, RJ bleeding. In the first, like, uh, Shocky had a curb. Like, when he played against Sayonara in Grand Finals, which was pretty hype, but hmm. he ended up not winning off of that. Which RJ, is also, like, very impressive for Sayonara. RJ needs to get building now because this is going to this is gonna turn into Phase 3. Yeah. So we got quarter zone. Gotta build that meter. Before it's, like, value drops even more. This is gonna hurt. 19, Phase 3. He can take one, he can take one more, and then he's got to go into... He has to go into zone. Yep, there he goes. We'll try to cancel as much as he can, but it's going to be pretty hard. He's going to have a good board. Yeah! And, yeah, he's going to take a lot of damage right now. <laughs> he's alive, but Doesn't even get the long. fake zone there, oh, Jesus. Just kidding. Shocky is on the board. Yep, it's not over yet. Shocky had an advantage in uh, P-Speed, Damage Speed, and Zone Damage. 
So it's really going to come down to RJ's quick wits. So RJ did an opener here, but look, it just sent him a whole Tetris to send right back. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it works. I like RJ just trying something different to like throw Shocky off of his rhythm. Like you even don't want to like be too predictable, I guess, right? I know. I'm just saying. Like even if you do four wide in this game, you're still just sending a bunch of Tetrises to them. Yeah. It's but really four wide funny. is like actually pretty Here. good in zone because it just you can do it so fast. Yeah, and it stacks like up the damage. Yeah. Twenty. You know, like combos nerf, but it's not like awful. What's RJ gonna it do? It still works. He wants to. All right, he wanted to let it build up a little before he went yep. for the clears. Ooh, not gonna be happy about burning the IPs. He definitely had a donation there, but opted not to go for it. 16, 17. Yeah, still takes okay. a lot of damage, but not too bad. If it's not it's fatal... It's like livable. He's not in the best position either, but... If it's not phase three and it's not fatal, it's fine. <laughs> Pretty much. That's the nature of this game, I guess. But Shocky is piling on the pressure, and RJ does not want to be in that situation for too long. Yeah, he's at max meter right now. I think he wants to build up his score a little bit. Oh, he's got the four wide. Let's see if he fires off his zone. I mean, hmm. he does not. He'll just take the four wide. No harm in just four widing. I mean, it, it works out pretty well. He sends a decent combo and I guess garbage access. Yes, the four wide is much, much weaker in this game. Yeah, RJ, I can't talk. RJ is right to do zone right now because this is going to phase three as soon as Shockey's zone ends. Oh my god. Okay, oh, he yeah. gets an 18. He was trying to go for something fancy there. RJ can turn this back with his own 18. He gets an 18 of his own. Doesn't send Shockey lines, but doesn't receive any lines either, so he's not going to be. He's not going to feel too bad about that. Anyway, what I was saying is uh, combos are very heavily nerfed in Tetris Effect Connected. The damage oh, yeah. table is 0 0. One 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 two 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 three, and it just stops at three. Like you get that three late, and you only get three. Yeah, but it's still like not insignificant when. It's not, especially if it's four wide. It's just, it's like wow, if I do a ten clear. If I do a ten clear, that's only twelve lines. Yeah. That's amazing. Why can't modern all Tetris games do that? It's also like, why can't like more Tetris games care about like a game like that? <laughs> like Puyo Puyo Tetris doesn't really care. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Well, at least not about balancing the uh, competitive aspect of it. Right, balancing that out. and like the netcode is still trash. <laughs> oh my god! I still am like so mad about that. Shocky turns it away, but it's time for RJ's half zone. Yeah. It's gonna go for some big damage, but his board is. Ooh, need that T piece in time. Oh, kind of sus. A little too slow. Cancelled a lot of damage, which is good, but not able to really put any pressure on Shocky right now. So Shocky's still like in the driver's seat. It's the kind of game where you want to be um, in favor of, like the offensive player. Yes, indeed. Especially in phase three right now. Ooh. Shocky went for something big there. I think he was hoping for a KO there, but no luck. Yeah, RG doing a good job surviving still. Nice. RG may be opting to do some trades in this situation mm -hmm. because he tends to like situations where both players receive garbage. I think that's like something he feels like he can come out on top. Quarter zone from RJ. Yeah. It's Tetris, DSS. It's no time for this. 16 lines, not bad. Not too, not too bad. But staves off Shocky's attack, but Shocky has what three quarter zone? That's not gonna be. It's gonna hurt. This will hurt. Thirty yeah, damage. That's obscene. Line. He can take one, and that's it. Right. Oh, he covered up his hole. He got the T spin in there though, but it's still it's fatal. Well, okay, okay it's yep, fatal. There it is. Shocky takes game two with a near forty thousand score lead. Jesus. You know, there was one other reason why uh, opener gameplay isn't good in this game. I forgot what it was, though. What was it? You build up zone slower. The T pieces the pieces drop slow, so T spins are really slow near the bottom of the board. And you send your opponent clean Tetrises. 
There was something else, though. I can't remember what it was. Whatever. Don't play openers, guys. I mean, you also, like, have... It can also, like, end up messy. That too. But that's just, like, general. Yeah. That's not, like, specific to this game. Yeah, I feel like openers and, like, the opener to mid-game transition can lead to, like, overstack. Which... Especially if you're a greedy boy like me. Which could be bad in, like, TEC, considering, like, the height 20 is lower. 20 from Chucky. Nice 20. What is RJ? RJ 19? 19. Alright, All right, not bad. He like, seven lines. Not too bad. Yeah, now he has some ammo to work with. We're on phase two. Yeah, Chucky with a very nice board right now, though. RJ choosing to combo it out. Yeah, bounce back through most of it. Nice. Yeah, Shocky still powering through with that 6 3 sending a lot of damage to RJ. Yeah, both players are at, now at max zone. So let's see what they try to do in this situation. Okay, RJ fires off first. TSF, TMP, another TMP, a Tetris. We're gonna do a side four wide. Silly RJ. You know what it All worked? Alright, it's an 8 combo, not too bad. Does he get it? 20! Right, nice, twice 20. 4 wide into a line, 20. Very good. 61 line, very strong. Alright, let's see what Shocky gets. Ooh, 42. Shocky gets like... Not fatal. Yeah, he can combo down, but still but receive some lines. It's garbage time. Phase uh, 3 garbage. This is a situation RJ likes to be in. Where he could just tank and uh, send right back. Yeah, RJ, RJ is... Likes to play chicken. RJ is a classic tank player. Yep. Right, let's I like see how well too. RJ does in this situation. Oh, a piddly zone from Shockey. Yeah. Meanwhile, an STSD coming out from RJ, sending Shockey right to the top. Shockey is like lost in thoughts here. The All fact right. he had to Ooh. stack a T piece the way he did is RJ a has to waste an eye piece. It's going to slow down his offense. But yeah, there's it no still way. does not give Shockey enough time to escape. Shockey One line. fires off his uh, zone, but it's not enough. It's time for game five. All right, here we go. The tiebreaker. Oh, RJ's going with an opener. TKI. Doesn't PC. He had a PC there, but took the damage. See what he can come up with. All right, both players the max zone now. What he starts zone first. I feel like I would have started it there when RJ just busted out those double Tetrises. Yeah, possibly. He has to start it. He took too much there. All right. Oh, that's a problem. Ooh, now it's a problem. That is. Ooh. That's not good. No, it's not too bad. He has time to build up his zone again because Shaki hasn't started his yet. Right. He's starting it now, but RJ has time to clean out this very. Yeah, I don't RJ. know if it was worth it for Shaki to wait that long. He basically just had like that that did not charge his own meter. There you go, RJ's at max zone again. He's ready to go. Yeah, RJ's gonna opt to tank a few lines here because it's still he's, pretty clean. He's gotta. Eight. Nine. Yeah. Ten. Ooh, without shocking with some spaghetti of his own. Still get the STSD off. Made that spaghetti kinda with. neat. 18, without, wa without 19. wasting SP. Without wasting like too many pieces. That didn't do anything to him. What the heck? Yeah, Shockey's uh managed to get the most of it out. Pretty very <laughs> nice. But in exchange, he did compromise his board state a bit, so he'll have to spend some time cleaning that up. Meanwhile, RJ will probably try to get back some momentum between this and the next zone. Phase oh, three. Phase three. Yeah. Shocky turns it up after... He has to. Yeah. He has a decent board here. That's still phase. That's still garbage from phase two. Yeah, sends a lot of damage to RJ, like, right off the bat. And Shocky doesn't catches, have as much to work with here. Forcing him to zone back then. All of his garbage is phase three garbage, so 
he can't do it as much, but... Yeah, still send... Ah! Oh, send, send a very nice 43. RJ able to get down somewhat, but... Able to be do in a what? lot of trouble. Uh, uh. But no, it's over. And Shocky takes it. 3-2. Yeah. Shocky comes out on top once again. Very nice. All right. And finally, we have Grand Finals. Sayonara versus Super Shucky. Yeah, it's time oh. for the run back. Let's hope the only thing that they run back is the match and not the technical difficulties. Yeah. I can see the line adapter is blinking. <laughs> I can see it. It makes me... Happy. Is it coming? Can you go back to that scene? I'll let you know if the one that's plugged in fell out or not. Well, I'm saying the LAN adapter is blinking. So I know. I know. All right. The switch is receiving connection. As you wish. Right, here we go. The rematch. Another run back from uh, their last meeting, last meetup, matchup. So that was an exciting set, but I do have to say. I don't think we talked enough about how much of a blow the salted set was. He feels bad that this is taking a long time, so he just wants to speed it up, you know? But yeah, that's the he reason. He also didn't want to throw, because like, that would not be honorable. That would not be honorable? Yeah, you know. That was the reason? Yeah, it was dishonorable to look bad in your own tournament. I mean, to like throw, like, obviously in your own tournament. But, you know, you just gotta win, lose in a convincing manner.